Hey, 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 doing something a bit different today, playing a bit of Slay the Spire for the first time, actually. I've wanted to play this game for a while now, and I just never got around to it, but it's finally out of early access, so I thought what better time to start than now. If you guys didn't know, it's a deck-building roguelike card game, and given that I usually play card games on this channel, uh, I thought it would pique your interest. And other than that, I know nothing about it, because I refrained from looking at any content about it, I've never played it before, so really, this is just gonna be me figuring this out as we go along as well. Please be gentle. I know a lot of people have been playing it in early access and they know all the deep strats already. But, uh, I'm here to learn. Standard, embark on a quest to slay the spire. Sounds good, we only got one character here. The Ironclad. The remaining soldier of the Ironclad sold his soul to harness demonic energies. Burning blood at the end of combat, heals 6 HP. 5 unlocks remaining. I don't know what any of this means, so let's just go. And get started, shall we? I've always liked deck builders. Um, I, I really love the DC deck building card game. I, I play that a lot when family is over. Helps that we're all nerds. All right, so I guess we just select what we want to go to and we're progressing through the Spire. I guess that makes sense. Let me just try and survive as we go along. They're all enemy rooms, so let's just pick this one because we get the most choices. Sounds good. Defeat enemies by playing cards from your hand. Cards require energy to play. Once you are out and your turn, at the start of your turn, new cards are drawn and your energy is replenished. Seems simple enough. Defensive cards gain block. Enemies will attack you, reduces incoming damage, wears off starting next turn. Mm -hmm. During your turn, you can observe an enemy's intent above them. If an enemy is intent on attacking you, be sure to gain some block. Okay. Sounds simple enough. Here we go. Here we go. Got three energy. Uh, looks like he's not going to attack us, so we should just deal 6 damage. That sounds like a good plan. Let's do that. Let's do it, do it again. <laughs> Easy game. That's my discard pile. Okay, okay. So the way deck builders work um, is that as you progress through the game, I think you add cards into your deck. So right now we just have the basic attacks and blocks, and I guess bashes now. This seems pretty good. Uh, but as we go on through the game, our deck gets more powerful, and hence we get more powerful as well. At least that's how deck builders work traditionally. I doubt it'll be different here. These are really just the, the opening tutorial games, so not a whole lot of decision making here. The art's kind of funky though, like what's this guy? No more cards? Okay, your discard pile is yeah, shuffled back to your deck. Yep, that's how deck builders work. I say I enjoy deck builders, but really I've only played the one. <laughs> the DC deck building card game. I tried to play, what's it called, the minion ones. A friend was explaining it to me and like how to play it, and I was just, I was just lost. I mean, I, I could play it because he was there, but without him I would be like completely <laughs> SOL trying to play Dominion. That seems like a game that requires a lot of, a lot of time investment to learn. So far, this is going pretty well. Dude, this guy's this guy's going ham with his with his attacks right now. And we can't kill him yet. Oh wait, yeah we can. This is nine. Oh, that's because we put vulnerable. That's right. That makes sense. Easy game. My powers were matched. All right. Cool. Do we pick one, or do we? Get all of them. I guess we got all of them. This seems good. This also seems good. I think this is one of those games where you have to put a lot of time into it to figure out what cards are actually good or not. This is my first time, I have literally no clue. No clue. This is brutal though. Why send the boys in half? I right, get all of them. Okay, cool. Potions. I can use a potion during a fight. Cool. The merchant. We don't have anything yet, so whatever. Let's just go unknown. Obviously, you pick the mystery box every time. Do I look like a coward to you? You approach. Into a, you go into a room. Find a large. I can't read. What? What's wrong with me? It's been a long day. Okay, that's my excuse. You walk into a room. Find a large hole in the ground. You approach the hole. An enormous serpent. Oh my god! It's hideous. Oh-hoo! Hello, hello! What have we got here? 
Hello, adventurer. I ask a simple question. The most fulfilling of lives is that in which you can buy anything. Do you agree? Right, what does doubt mean? Turn of your end of your turn, gain one week, but you gain 175 gold. Uh, I mean, you only learn by doing, right? I don't know what week is. So, let's just try it. Yes! This will all be worth it. You're welcome for that, by the way. I'm sure your ears enjoyed that oral experience. The serpent rears its head and blasts a stream of gold upwards. Thanks, man. Appreciate ya. What does doubt do, though? What is weak? Ah, it only happens when I draw it into my hand, I suppose, so it's just a crap card in my deck. Weakened creatures deal 25% less damage with attacks. Yeah, well, that's that seems pretty bad. That seems pretty bad. I, I kind of regret it now. This card seems good, though. He did! Well. It was a good learning experience, at least. What does Frail do? Is that different than Weak? 25% less long? Ah, it's like the other side of it. I'm sure I can win this without... needing to... Oh, I should've done this first. Sequencing! Sequencing, Igni! What are you doing, man? You know how to play card games. Stop it. Look, this is fine though. Don't worry about it. I think one of the, the good parts with the Iron Cloud is that he gains... Yeah, HP back, so that's fine. Power cards. Card applies a power to you and use. Passive abilities are remain for the duration of combat. Oh, that sounds amazing. Yeah, let's do that one. That one sounds sick. Look at that. Already cleared three levels. We're a master. We're gonna clear the spire in no time. Don't even sweat it. If we actually beat this, the what we got in front of us right now... On the first try, that'd be pretty cool. Scrap ooze. As you walk into the room, you hear a gurgling and the grinding of metals. Before you, I'm sorry. <laughs> Before he was a slime-like creature that ate too much scrap for its own good. From the center of the, the creature, you see glints of strange light, perhaps something magical. Looks like you can get some treasure if you just reach inside its open... Oh, gross. Dude, let's do it. Obviously. Ah, do it again. Obvious... Oh, come on, man. There you go. Sick. Unique bonuses remain throughout your run. Sweet. Unlucky, though. A while to get that. Oh, uh, now that we have gold, we should visit the merchant, right? We took that curse for a reason. Surely we should get something nice. Apotheosis? That's a really good skill in Divinity, so. Upgrade all your cards for the rest of combat. Exhaust. That sounds good. This one's on sale. Gain 8 block and draw a card. That sounds really- I mean, draw a card is obviously good in this game. Surely. Surely. Though. I mean, I want to buy Apotheosis, because, I mean, look at it. My golden border and everything. That sounds really cool. We'll do that. Then we'll, we'll buy Shrug It Off. It's like a good deal. Or you lose HP from a card, gain 1 strength. Eh. Energy. Gain 2 energy. Cool. Eh, it's not really as good unless you have more card draw, right? I feel like. Deal 5 damage to all enemies X times, and X is- oh, so you can cast it. All these cards are way better than the cards I already have, so. And I can remove that weak card I have now, but I guess I don't really need to at the moment. Uh apply 2 weak. Maybe this is good. Again, it's one of those things where I can't really judge it yet, because I, I have no clue. I guess we'll be happy with this for now. Let's save the rest of our gold. Rest. Now who needs rest? 68 HP should be fine. Metallicize. At the end of its turn, get 8... Oh, what the heck is this, dude? I think I accidentally got into a fight with the boss. And I got this. Oh, but I got Apotheosis early. Okay. Good deal. I will be fine. Don't, 
Don't sweat it. <laughs> I believe in us. Ah, he's still stunned. Oh, getting apotheosis early helps a lot, don't it? Oh my god! Oh my god! Can you maybe chill? Well, step one, stay alive, and obviously play Cleave. Oh, this, this might be, this might have been a poor decision. I didn't realize this was a bust. I guess I should have looked at the, uh... Looked at the... The icon more closely. End of your turn, lose one HP and deal seven. This seems really good. Well, let's shrug it off first, draw first. Come on, Igni, you've played card games before, you know how to do this. Combust. Ah, I can take seven, right? I need to deal damage to him, so... I mean, I'm doing seven to him this turn anyway. If I just defend now... Then all my strikes are going into my discard pile, eh? Nah, let's just, let's just stay alive. And their attacks get way more powerful over time, seems like. Yo, what's this? What is this? Negative effect on you. I guess there's a card for that that can help you with that later on in the game, but not now. Well, the block is kind of useless here because it's not going to help me with that. Sequencing. Vulnerable first. And cleave. This is a lot less bad than I thought it would be. I thought I would just die immediately here. Roguelikes tend to do that to me when I first play them. Okay. Strength down. Dexterity minus one. Okay. That's fine. Ah, shrug it off is good. Ah, uh, doubt sucks. Shrug it off is good though. Ah, uh, shrug it off is so good. <laughs> Wish I had more cards to add, uh... Add energy though. Should have taken that red eye card. Can I tank eight? Nah, let's not tank eight. Let's just do this. Let's not be greedy. What is this thing, though? I love the art in this game, man. In screenshots, it doesn't look all that great, not gonna lie. But in the... In, in the animations. It really brings it to life. Oh, uh, not a whole lot of blocks here. Kind of a bummer. I think I'll just bash. I don't, I don't want to tank 18. I guess I can tank 11. Ow. Another debuff. Ah, pretty good though. Oh no, this is not that great, because he's not going to attack me anyway. Better than the others though. Let's do this and then strike. Ah, oh, god damn it! Mistakes are made. Don't I just win here anyway? Yeah, because of the power. I don't even sweat it. Easy boss. Ooh, it's like a... Yeah! Upgrade. And another... I forgot about these. Headbutt. Deal 9 damage. Put a card from your discard pile on the top of your drop pile. Eh. Shrug it off is just really good. For all your cards containing strike. What are my cards containing strike? Can I look at my deck? There it is. I mean, I have a lot of cards containing strike. Kind of the default thing, hey? Eh. All my, like, including the deck? If so, that seems pretty good, right? I guess the reasoning is that you'd usually want to remove the strikes from your deck. Yeah. Ah, who needs rest? Enemy time. Getting a little cocksure, but that's fine. Is that how you, is that how you use that word? I don't even know. <laughs> but I, I think it'll be fine. Uh, well, shrug it off first. Let's just strike. Should have bought that uh, that gain energy card though. Starting to see how useful it can be. Let's try, let's try and minimize our damage. 19 damage. Yeah, I mean, that seems pretty good, right? 
Come on. Bruh. I think it'll scale really poorly as we move through the game, though, hey? Like, once we get to higher level enemies, you want to get these strikes out of your deck, I imagine. Alright. Yes, please. Eh. Just kill him. <laughs> Better. Almost missed lethal. <laughs> draw three cards. You cannot draw additional cards this turn. Deal 12 damage. Can be upgraded any number of times. That's cool. Like, this one is not that great because I don't have cards that give me energy, right? Should aim for cards to give me energy, though. Then this card is going to be insane. 12. Can we, I mean, I can only upgrade things once so far. I don't have any other upgrade cards. And if I have other upgrade cards because all the other upgrade cards can only be upgraded once, it's not going to be as good, I think. Let's just go for Battle Trance and then we'll try and aim for. That's a boss. Kind of wary. Uh, I mean, I know defeating the boss is going to get me cool stuff, but... Alright, fine. Fine. <laughs> I'm just worried I'm just going to straight up die. Oh, good start. Oh this, oh, this even draws four cards. That's pretty sick. That's pretty sick. I don't know if I want to draw four cards now, though, because they're just going to go into my discard pile. Yeah, you'll love it. I'll be fine. I'm using a buff. Kinda sad that's going in my discard pile, but that's that's fine, I guess. Hopefully we get something good. What is this? Whenever you play a skill, gain plus two strength. Well, I'm probably just gonna do this. Combust. I missed out on Bash, but I think Combust is just good to get the passive effect going for the rest of the match. Ah, we'll be fine. This guy seems like a wimp. Eight damage? You kidding me? Out of here. Oh, it gave me vulnerability. Okay. Now I understand. Oh my... Oh my god! What? Can you maybe chill? Oh, it's so whenever I play a skill, he gains two strength? It's not whenever he plays- oh my god. Okay. This is why I need, I need to read- I need to read the card. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna die? I'm gonna die so hard here. Oh my lord. I'm afraid. Gains two strength. Really, I did this to myself, because I didn't read the effect. Well, defend is a skill? I would have thought that defense would be just a basic thing. Again, not reading. It's, it's gotten me. It's gotten me into a bad spot here. Fine. I think I might have to race him. Just kill him before he kills me. He's gonna deal 30 damage to me. Oh, 25. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, okay. That was scary. Holy smokes. Thank you, Perfected Strike. Oh, this helps, right? Because I give enemies vulnerable. I can give myself another Combust. Add a random attack into your hand. It costs zero this turn. Exhaust. That seems cool. You, it can just give me strikes, though. That's the problem. Metallicize seems like it could be helpful. It's not that good, though, is it? I think I'm just gonna take another combust. Treasure. Let's let's. I mean, either way, I can go to a restroom. I <laughs> restroom. Yeah, but I do. I do need to get there. I don't die. Coming trials. What's in the box? Pear. Okay. 
I'm good with I'm good with a pair. Can I deal with two basic enemies before I reach a, another rest? Probably. I might have I might have been overconfident here. <laughs> okay, it's fine. Uh, well, they're not gonna. Yeah, they're not gonna attack. So let's just try and strike one down as fast as possible. Seems good. I'm glad that this one's gonna be gone soon. Yeah, I perfected strike this, obviously. Well, that worked out real nice. <laughs> oh. I need to use a potion. This seems really good, though. There you go. Deal 2 damage 4 times. Eh. Deal 9 damage. Deal 5 damage twice. None of these are that good. This one can get me something great in the pinch. I guess I'll do headbutt. Can manipulate my draws a little bit. This guy. I mean, this seems pretty good, right? Good start. Trying not to take too much damage because I want um, Burning Blood to heal me. I just kill him? Nope, not really. Probably just want to block here. Yeah. That's nah, fine. Ha, <laughs> combust. Cool. I'm really liking this Apotheosis card. It's done a lot of work so far. I really didn't need to use combust here. I took a lot of damage there. Could I really get any blocks? Could've used Battle Chance to block. Maybe that was a better, better thing to do. Eh. It's fine. Another pro. I keep, I keep forgetting to use these, man. God damn. I really should. Lose three HP, deal fourteen damage. That seems real good. Draw a card. Put a card from the top of your card from your hand to the top of your draw pile. Okay. Deal damage equal to your block. So if I use shrug it off, block, body slam. He's pretty combo oriented, like it could just be a dead card. I think he's gonna go with Hemokinesis. Rest time. Oh, I lit the bonfire and everything. Oh! Oh! You can upgrade stuff at the I mean I would have known this if 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 uh oh Oh. Uh, if, I, if I knew this, I would have taken the card that could have been upgraded at unlimited times. Whoopsie doodle. Uh, and because of Apotheosis... There's not really a need to... I mean, I can upgrade my Apotheosis. Now that's... That's a good... That's a good one. That's a good one. Let's do that. Apotheosis will get me there. Oh, I see. So you can choose to rest for health or rest for upgrades. I understand. I understand. Every room I encounter, I'm learning. As you come to a dead end and begin to turn around, walls slam down from the ceiling, trapping you. Three faces materialize from the walls and speak. Forget what you know, and I'll let you go. I require change to see a new space. If you want to pass me, then you must grow. I can upgrade. Ah, but I already upgraded Apotheosis, so whatever. Transform a card. What does transform a card do? Do. 
See, I want to do forget so I can remove the uh, the weakness card. But I'm just really, really curious. Can I change this? Oh, okay, 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 I see. It makes it into something of the same type. So if I choose a strike, for example, it can be anything. That's kind of cool. But I think I just want to remove the doubt card from my deck. No, I can't go back. God damn <laughs> Oh no! Oh, I can't go back! Well, if I remove a strike, then I make, um, Perfected Strike worse, which is kind of a bummer. Ugh. Well, at least now I know what, what Transform means. Maybe I should just do this and try and get, a uh, Something cool. I want strikes in my deck. I know, with two little blocks in my deck, it's also kind of... Iffy. That's nah, fine, though. Go. what I get? Second win? Exhaust? What What does that mean? Second second win. Exhaust all non-attack cards in your hand. Gain five block for each card exhausted. Oh, so it's like a, like a last resort kind of thing. That's cool. Oh, it's a merchant. Cool. You like this rug? It's not for sale. Well, it's good to know, buddy. At the end of your turn, deal one damage to all enemies for each attack with this turn. That seems not that great. Now you play five cards in a single turn, deal... Mm, can't do that, because I don't have the... Oh, this this gains energy. Eh. Kind of combo-oriented as well. Disarm. You know what? Do this. Do that. Good stuff. Whenever you rest, you'll an additional 15 HP. Well, I haven't used a rest at all. That seems not super good. Eh. I'm really not that impressed with any of this. Maybe this? But it's worse than a regular strike in most circumstances. Unless I specifically get bash. That seems unlikely to just have that whenever I need it, right? Oh, this costs zero? Yeah, well then that, obviously. <laughs> That's really good. Uh, back out of here. Proceed. I think I rest for... Uh, for health. It's getting near the end here. What does this do? This is the final loss of the first area? I don't want a second win just yet, right? That seems like something that you do at the end of it all. Just blocking. Okay, that's fine. Hit him. Yeah, relax, buddy. Obviously this. Like there's I don't think there's any downside to this. So do that first. That's really good. Oh my god, what? I just realized, 32 freaking damage, holy smokes. Can you maybe chill? Oh, I still have... Still have energy, cool. Cool, cool, cool. Did I block? I kinda just wanna defend. This is, this is doing a lot of damage. Oh boy. I think I might just straight up die to the Guardian. I don't know if I can if I can do this, man. Okay, he's not going to attack me next turn, so that's That's cool. Appreciate that. What's in my discard pile right now that I want? Finesse, probably. Or Bash. Bash is really sick. Let's get Bash back. Ah, oh, but Finesse is too good. Ah, oh, but Bash is really good over time. Good Bash. What is this? What do you do? You went into a small ball. Well. It's fine.
And when you play an attack, take three damage. Oof. Oof. Bash again. Guess I should shrug it off first. Eh. Oh my god. I kind of want to play Perfected Strike whenever I possibly can. Considering things. Yeah, let's shrug it off Perfect Strike. Kind of sad that I'm not using the bash that I drew for, but... Oh, boy. This seems like a tough one. I'm glad he's not doing 30 damage anymore, though. 16. Okay. Finesse, obviously. I mean, just play the things that do the most damage, I guess. I guess I'll just tank 16. This is rough. I don't think I can win this. Any damage? You kidding me? Exhaust null, non attack. I literally just gained seven blocks. Just playing the defense is better here. Okay. It changes to defensive mode if he receives 40 damage. I can do 33. Nah, that's not good enough. So I'll just have to tank 12 damage. Oof. Oof. Do I just... Uh... Yeah, okay. Oof. Okay. Try not to die. He's blocking this turn. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Appreciate you. I think I should perfect the strike first, right? He's gonna go in defensive mode. Yep. Sharp hide, there it is again. We might be able to do this. I think I battle trans here. Hmm. Wonder if I should combust again. You think seven per? Pretty good, and it does, and it gets around sharp hide. So I'll do, I'll do fourteen. Oh, because my original combust was a, a, a non-plus one. So I'll do twelve damage per turn. That seems like something I need to be doing. Yeah, I'll bash, bust, taking quite a bit of damage from this one. Ow. 16. Jeez Louise. Ooh. Oh, it's too good to pass up. Too good to pass up. think here. Doing 16, we have 11 armor, we attack. We only have 8 armor. We take 8 damage. Wonder if we just wait it out. We can just do blocks, and then... 
feel like we should just do blocks this turn. Right. doing two damage to me, so I'll have eleven health. Then Yeah, we can just wait it out, I think. Don't have to attack here. Getting close to killing him though. If I just do a normal cleave, I do twelve damage. Take three. I have 16 block, and I still block everything? Okay, we'll do that. I think we're getting there, just barely. I think we can win. Finesse, please. Bash. Strike. Wow! That was close! Oh, that feels pretty good, though. We did it, boys. Damn! And we get a gold rarity card. Deal 4 damage to all enemies, heal HP equal to unblock damage, exhaust. That seems... That seems like it'll get me out of a pinch. This turn, your next attack is played twice. That also seems really good. This is really bad against 1v1s, though. So we're just gonna take double tap. Hell yeah! Choose a relic. At the end of your turn, you no longer discard your hand. Okay, elites drop an additional relic when defeated. Gain. Start your turn. Future card rewards have two less cards to choose. Oh, so I only get to pick one? That seems bad. Additional relic seems pretty good. At the end of your turn, you no longer discard your hand. I guess I can plan around stuff a lot better with Runic Pyramid. But I have a bit of card draw anyway, so I think I can just go with Black Star and just try and exponentially make my character kind of stronger. We cleared the first act. Okay, that was the first act. I see. There's a lot more to come, I suppose. Wow, this is a long episode. 37 minutes so far. Holy smokes. I guess we'll just go until I lose. <laughs> Makes sense to me. This is going to be a long video. <laughs> Oh. Well, he's doing 10 to us. That kind of sucks, but... I just want to do this, frankly. That worked out pretty okay. This act seems already immediately harder. Maybe it won't be such a long video after all. He, did he suck? Did he suck on my life? Excuse me. Well, I never. I'm just gonna take finesse back, probably. Perfected strike's also pretty good. Fine. Let's try and end this encounter. I think it's 12 block at the end of the turn. What a maverick. that. Thank you. We are taking 12 this turn, though. God, this is so annoying. <laughs> okay. I don't want to take 10. Let's just bash. Defend. This is also disgusting. I don't know if you're seeing this, boy. 
Thank you. Finesse. Then we'll just go ham on him. Did I miss lethal? I think I missed lethal. I oh, know, I'm fine. Finesse is free. Almost forgot. I still. Oh, God. I keep forgetting to use my potion. This block potion seems really good, though. I'll tell you that much. Eh. Boost their HP, gain energy. That seems okay. Ooh, and a straight up upgraded one as well. Lose HP from a card, gain one strength. Oh, so if I can use this with the um the one that uh deals damage to me and then deals more damage to them. Seems pretty okay. And strike is eh, 14 damage for one play point. Bloodletting is gonna give me way more burst damage, which is nice. But it doesn't cycle itself, so. Maybe it can be dead, like a dead card. And you know what? I think it's I think it's gonna be okay. Because you draw five, I think, every turn. I haven't really been paying attention, but I think you do. While sneaking past a group of shattered figures, one of them approaches you. Got anything for me, friend? Maybe some coin. Just need somewhere to stay. After just can trade? Sure, I'm not doing anything with my gold right now. Whenever you rest, you may add a card to your deck. Oh, that's cool. That's actually pretty helpful. Back in the store here. Transmutation. Oh, I just don't have enough gold now for this because I bought that relic from the guy. X random colorless cards. They, uh, they cost you. Mm, eh, kind of a wacky tobacco one. Exhaust all cards in your hand, deal 7 damage for each card. That could end the game right away, right? I feel like that ends a game. Or ends a, ends a combat, rather. So if I get the one that uh, draws me 4 cards... Oh, what's it called? Battle Trance, three cards rather. Four cards with the improvement. Then I feed fire. That does a lot. It does a lot. But I also just remove most of my deck, so. Risky. Flame to red. Eh. Deal two damage four times. That seems bad. Dual wheel, choose an attack or power card. Eh, not to be kind of any of these. Let's just let's just move on. Move along. More mystery boxes or more monsters? Kind of feeling in the mood for a mystery box right now. Man with an eye patch and a devilish grin strides up to you. Hey there, stranger. And interested in advancing science? I can make you stronger than any training or blessing. Do I want to get jaxed? Transform two cards. Or obtain a special relic. I quite like my deck right now, so let's just obtain a special relic. That seems good. You quaff the mystery. You oh what? I start each combat with three strength. At the end of your first turn, lose three strength. Well, that's fine. That seems really good. I mean, he was a shady dude just handing out jacks on the streets, but we got there. What does flight do? He's fifty percent less attack damage. Cancelled if dealt attack damage three times in one turn. Well, that's kind of annoying. Bust, obviously. Cleave is really good against multiple enemies. I guess I'll just bloodlet. Seems fine. Actually prevents more damage. Do we Gucci? Why do all the enemies in this game look absolutely hideous? <laughs> Not like the art is bad, but like the design of them. I guess that's, that's kind of the atmosphere, right? Oh, that's oh, that's a lot of damage. Oh boy. Oh boy.
That is a lot of damage. I'm not sure we're gonna die to a bunch of birds, like, immediately. <laughs> okay, this deals 10. So I can, I can take down... That's flight, though. I can take this down there, right? Because it'll take three attack damage. Go all in on offense. Did I not do that right? Feels like I didn't do that right. Yeah, given by the results that I'm getting right now, it feels like I definitely didn't do that right. Whoopsie doodle. Whoopsie doodle. Can I get a, Is there like a way to display... Summed up damage? Yeah, let's do that. Summed up damage in gold? How does that work? How do, how do I see that? Confused. I mean, I can... Mm. Really, I should just deal one damage of these to each. That'll be fine. Okay, good. I worked out. Again, I've forgotten to use these. Alright. Okay, okay. Remind me, chat, to use them. I know you can't even hear me, but remind me. Ah, that's the one. That's the one. We'll upgrade that. ASAP. If I rest, I heal and I get more treasure. Or more cards, right? That's what that treasure did. Cleave is pretty good. This could be good because it can exhaust, like, cards I don't want. Eh. This one just comes enhanced already, which is nice. Do that. Enemy time. Oh my god. So many things out of nowhere. Well, if I know anything about RPGs, it's that the Mystic is, is the one that I need to be worried about. Not the muscle head. I feel like I should be killing the Mystic as fast as possible. Do I do it better with Bash or with Perfected Strike? I can't resist, the numbers are so big. Ah, but this probably does better over time. Like, I'll probably be able to destroy the Mystic in the next turn. Ow. Ow. Yes, please. Well, I combust, obviously. I don't draw any from this. Feel good, though, because it's free. Combust again, and then I can bloodlet. Then I can do so much damage. Oh, it's so good though. It's already doing 14, right? We are taking quite a bit of damage here. I, I played it a bit risky this time. 
think we'll be okay. Your next two attacks are played twice. Oh, damn. I win, right? With this. Just enough. Exact lethal. Feels good, man. Bloodletting is so good. But I feel like with one bloodletting, I can already play most of my cards. Unless I battle trends. The other ones aren't that good, are they? I wonder when I'll lose. <laughs> this seems like a pretty okay run so far. I'll start with this. Seems... Pretty easy choice. Hemokinesis twice. Oh, I can get double tap back from the headbutt? Well, that's real nice. Yeah, let's do it like that. Confused? Whenever you draw a card to randomize its cost, that's kind of fun. I mean, double tap is the same price, so I think pretty okay about that. What's in here? Double tap. Yeah. Double tap, please. <laughs> Good combo. Oh, and I got another one. That's right. Headbutt. Seems good. Bloodlet and cleave. Oh yeah, because of double tap being upgraded. Wow. My deck's starting to feel really nice. The synergies are coming together, man. I'm still confused. God damn it. I guess I'll be confused for the rest of the encounter. Oh, but my perfected strike costs one? Bruh. Amazing. Do six HP, gain two, draw three. Cards. I mean, I mean, it's risky, but come on, come on, though. Oh, it's so good, though. Oh, it's so good, though. Okay, step one just try not to die, and I think we'll be okay. Well, I don't feel confident going into this elite battle with only 44 health, so we'll just go this way. Oh, we got the Millennium Puzzle. <laughs> Draw three cards the first time you lose HP. What? That seems nutty. Alright. I can make something better. What should I make better? Earring Blow, I feel like. Bittering. I think I should just rest. I wanna live, man. This run's going really well so far. I guess we'll take another Perfected Strike. It's the best one there. Oh, now there's an lead. Okay, I'm glad I rested then. Book of Stabbing! What?! <laughs> oh, I love it. Alright, well... I wanna shrug it off first. Probably wanna do this. If I... sequence this improperly, do I not gain the extra energy? I actually don't know how that works. Oh, it's so good. Oh, it's so good. No apotheosis is kind of sad. We have so many plays this turn, though. Crazy. I combust again. I can perfected strike. Bloodletting. And do more stuff. This headbutt just does the most damage. We can get uh, Bloodletting back. Or Perfected Strike back. Let's get Perfected Strike back. There. 
Really not as powerful as I thought it would be, actually. That was a good turn, but... No apotheosis kind of made that a bit sad. <laughs> perfected strike, bloodletting, perfected strike. But I take 21 damage. Jeez Louise. No blocks in this hand are sad. Wait, I have potions! Stop forgetting your potions! Finally! <laughs> Okay, good. I remember it this time. Okay. Now I only take zero damage. I went well. Ooh, double tap. I mean, I'd rather just play Bash, right? Double tap deals 20. Double tap's not that good here, because I can't play two more attacks with it. Bash. Thinking 11 here, but I do want to end this encounter sometime this century. Another wound. Bummer. Always. Can I end it this turn? Infected Strike. Bloodletting. Evokinesis. I'm always doing this. Oh, that just... Oh yeah, vulnerability. <laughs> that went well. And every time I beat an elite, I gain two relics now. Whenever you deal 4 or less unblocked attack damage, increase it to 5. Well, that seems really minor, but fine. Matryoshka! Your next two non-boss chests you open contain two relics. Alright. Thought you were trying to lose 1 HP and draw a card. Eh. I have so much card draw on the deck anyway. For the most part. Whenever you play an attack this turn, gain plus 5 block. What? Yes. Yes, though. That seems great. Another one right away, hey? No. Just double tap strike. Defend. I don't need to bloodlet here. I mean, I could. You know what? Actually, it's pretty okay. Just get my entire hand out. Oh, and every time I take damage, I... Draw a card, that's right. I gotta keep track of all my skills now. I'm taking so much damage here. Oh my god. Brutal encounter right after the boss fight, eh? Upon receiving attack damage, she gains three block. Are you kidding me? What's up with that? I can put something in my discard pile and then draw it. And then bloodlet. So if I headbutt, double tap, draw it with battle trance, play that bloodlet. I can only play strike. Can't play perfected strike with my my double tap. Right. That costs one, two. Three, four, and I only have three mana. Bummer. Let's just do it this way. Apotheosis. Yeah. Seems good, man. That's a lot of damage. Almost dead. Attempt. I win though. <laughs> Just flexing on them a little bit. Potions. That's right. I learned how to use potions now. Oh, that's really nice. Okay. That seems like a really good one. 
Gain plus five block, upgrade a card in your hand for the rest of combat. That's pretty cool. Draw one card, put a card from the top of your... No, from your hand is at the top of your draw pile. Exhaust. That also seems pretty okay. This is probably the best one, yeah. A mulligan is good. Oh, these nerds again. Oh, I'm gonna die. Oh my god. <laughs> I didn't even realize. Shit. Uh, okay. Well. Not like this actually does anything. It's fine. I don't need to do bloodletting because they're not attacking this turn anyway, so it's fine. Oh, I should have done the headbutt first, because I don't actually want the strikes in my my deck. Okay. Keep that in mind for next time. Fifteen armor. That's a bummer. That's a bummer. And that's first. Ah, okay. Warcry. I mean, I want to play the defense, right? Not really looking to use offering this game, probably, or this, this encounter. Rage, yes! Thank you! My bash? Perfected strike. This does let me play a lot of things, which is nice. Maybe I do use it. Maybe I do use it, though. The game block, anyway. Oh, that's right, I don't draw cards because of um, Warcry. Well, not Warcry, the other thing. That's fine, doesn't matter. All I need is the, uh, the energy. Perfected strike. Strike won't kill him here. We just defend. I can save this for, for another day. Just defend. Good. Staying alive. Ah, oh, damn it! I knew it. I knew you'd do this to me. Well, don't need to block. Do need to kill this lady, though. I'm doing 20 damage with this. Bit wary of combust. I think it's just too good, though. No more healer on please. This is this is annoying. Oh my god. Oh my god. I think this is where we lose. Oh, it's so bad. Attacking for ten. He's got moves. Can't kill her this turn either. If I combust here, I die. Might need to second win. Gain 17 armor? No, not 17. 14. 14 armor. I lose bloodletting and combust. Don't know if I have a choice though. Do I use hemokinesis? Don't know if it's worth it. That's yeah, fine. This mystic is so annoying. Come on! Can you maybe stop doing that? I believe in us. 28 damage. Thank you. Thank you. I feel like I should kill this knight while I can. And 
not take a billion damage. What can I bring back? Guarantee draw. Rage? Rage seems really nice. I know it'll be fine, right? Because this guy's gonna die, so. Just guarantee draw. I guess we'll guarantee draw finesse. Finesse is really good. Okay. We're doing okay. We're gonna survive this somehow. Not dead? Oh, she's dead. She's dead. Woo! Wow, that was harder than the boss. Infernal Blade. Add a random attack into your hand. Cause zero this turn. Exhaust. Deal nine damage. Draw a card. Seems eh. I only have so many cards that give energy, right? So let's just go with the Infernal Blade. Okay, then. Oh, they're, they're armoring up. Combust. This guy seems like a hassle. But if I know anything about video games, this guy is going to be the real menace. So we should kill him as fast as possible. We can do that right now. Bloodlet and headbutt. Doesn't do anything. This guy's 14 freaking armor. Receiving damage reduces plated armor by one. I'm straight up gonna take 10 damage right now already. Bad start. Oh, 15. 15 damage. Oh, okay, I see. Okay, now we die. <laughs> oh boy. Plus one less each time you lose HP this combat, deal 19 damage. Okay, we'll do that. Plus zero after all. I'm already dead. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. I drew no armor. Oh my god! Okay. Nine damage. I mean, I have to use Warcry and find something better. Okay, I got a block. I'm still dead. Great. <laughs> oh, this went poorly. Well, my run ends here. That's fine. Rip me. Wait, did I heal? I went up to... I went up to 14 there. I feel like if I blocked that, I would have survived. But why did I go up to 14? Okay. That's probably just a newbie mistake, and I'm just bad. <laughs> I have no idea why I went up to 14 there. Well, that's fine. Probably just something I missed. I overlooked it, didn't read it or something. But you know what? I think that went pretty okay. Our first run lasted an entire hour. I mean, I probably could have survived that encounter and went even longer. If I just read the effects of my cards properly. But, you know, for the first run, I don't think that's, that's bad at all. Uh, this video has already been going on far too long. And if you're still here, I want to thank you for watching. And uh, like the video if you did. Don't even didn't. Subscribe for more card game content in the very near future. I've been wanting to branch out a little bit. Play some card games that aren't just Shadowverse, you know what I mean? Um, hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you next time. And of course, thank you to my wonderful patrons, patreon.com slash ignidius. If you'd like to support the channel as well, I'd highly appreciate it. Uh, see you next time, again. It's weird to do an outro when I'm not used to it, because I'm so used to doing the Shadowverse outro. Uh, anyway, bye.